In this episode, we're looking at the awesome cooling features of the Pitstop Extruder. First, let's talk printer jamming. Looking online, some of the main issues people have are cooling related. The general good advice leans towards the stronger Sunon fans and more expensive filaments. The original cooling fan, this one, produced little airflow and wasn't able to cool down the heat brake, leaving to heat creep, which means this section starts to heat up, softening the filament up the tube, eventually getting it stuck in there. I tried the Sunon fan and I guess I was really unlucky because it started rattling within two weeks. So I moved to a much more powerful yet silent 60mm Noctua fan. 1.3 watts compared to 0.25 watts and very reliable. With these air blades that reduce turbulence, it can easily cool down the cold end and the heat break. I've been using over a dozen Noctua fans for many years and never had a problem with any of them. So for me the premium quality is definitely worth it. Another related issue is filament grinding. There are two hub gears, one on the motor and another there. They come together like this under spring load and push the filament down through the hot end. If the filament can't easily be pushed, the gears start grinding on the filament and then slipping, resulting in a failed print. Earlier we solved this issue partially with better cooling. There is another reason for grinding though. As the motor heats up, the hot gear gets hot as well and when it's hot enough, the filament around it heats up and softens. As this happens, the gears start eating into the filament like this and then can't push it ahead. In the hot summer days, I would have this happen regularly with PLA filament. It won't happen for materials with higher softening point like PTG or ABS though. To solve this, I've added a cheap radiator to the extruder motor. The large fan has significantly more airflow and I could direct some to cool the motor. I get over 10 degrees of temperature reduction compared to the stock extruder. This reduces the risk of jamming to a great extent in hot environments. As I've shown in another video, my extruder runs at about the same temperature as the frame. Some people stick multiple radiators to the extruder motor, but without the additional airflow, the motor doesn't cool down much. While the extruder motor cools down, the rotor inside still runs pretty hot and the heat goes to the hot gear. So I've added another little pipe here to blow some of the airflow directly on the hot gear, mitigating the remaining heating problem. This cooling system, while not perfect for me, reduced printer jamming to the point where I barely need to open the extruder at all. And when I do, it's a breeze. Higher quality filaments don't seem to have this issue at all, but cheaper filaments might still fail on occasion. In which case raising the printing temperature usually solves the issue to the point where I'm never worried about having a temperature related clog with any filament. Just keep in mind that raising the temperature can damage some filaments. But in case there's need for even more cooling, my brother has experimented with a water cool version for several months with great success. Water cooling is a big topic with a lot of considerations, so I won't be diving into that here. The water cool parts are included in the design for those feeling adventurous enough, as the cooling itself has to be DIY'd. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. As for the part cooling, I've kept the original shroud with minimal changes. I wanted to wrap up the design faster, as it's been taking months at this point. I should have designed a larger shroud in hindsight for better part cooling, especially at the back, where overhangs tend to print less cleanly. Like the original design, this one tends to melt when printing at high temperatures. Mine hasn't melted in a long time, but I've got a few spares just in case. If you know about a compatible, better design, let me know because part cooling is important and could use an upgrade over the stock design, and I haven't worked on this at all. Proper cooling is an important part of reliable printing. What do you think about pit stops cooling? Have you used any printing mods and techniques? Did you achieve better reliability and print quality as a result? Let me know what your experience was in the comments. If you like this video, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more like this. Check out my other Pistop related videos. And until next time, be awesome!